Just identifying the outside foil for the uh, 0 0.02 microfarad cap that I'm going to place in on the output tube off the uh, plate to ground the uh, bypass cap. The LED illuminated indicating the outside foil on uh, this side. and a 40 microfarad cap placed in here while the schematic again that I'm referencing uh, denotes a 20. I just clip the lead on the negative side of the uh, e-cap. Check this out. Not even soldered in place. Just looped around that location. You just never know what you're going to find in these things. Got the first 20 microfarad cap placed in and uh, just remove the second cap. It was a uh, 40 as well. Hey guys, you can hear I've got the receiver playing again. I've got the 8 microfarad capacitor in place. Again, not a uh, permanent uh, location for it. Just got everything uh, tacked in at this point in time, which is why I evaluate the uh, heater string. Heater string voltages look to be uh, good. Anyway, I've got this nasty uh, distortion. I think it's coming from that loudspeaker that's got the deformed cone. You can see the uh, cone is kind of bowed out right in this area. So I'm gonna do some uh, additional due diligence and probably see if I can remove the uh, voice coil itself and uh, just hook up another 4 ohm speaker and see if I've got the same type of distortion. I'll be right back. I always like that song. Anyway, the uh, distortion itself, as you can hear, definitely coming from the uh, loudspeaker itself. So I'll go ahead and plan on removing it and uh, see if I can do anything with the uh, cone. I just mentioned, I thought about spritzing this with some alcohol or some water, see if I could reshape the cone. But since it's already got a couple tears in it and it's deformed, I think I will just go ahead and try to uh, build a new cone. See what appears to be three rivets there at the bottom. That need to be removed. Let me uh, flip the chassis over. We'll look at them from the other side. And there's a view from the underside. If I can get those out, I'll just go back with uh, some screws. You can see this is the perfect application for the uh, spring tools chisel. I'm almost uh, through this first one and then Two more to go. Got the rivets out. They were actually made out of steel, not aluminum. So it gave me a little bit of workout. A little bit better look at the uh, cone itself and how deformed it is. And I can hear it rubbing as well. The uh, voice coil. See the uh, wire leaving the uh, fill coil back up here just a bit and the maker of the loudspeaker it's like Sonacord trademark reproducer I'm going to see if I can save the uh, surround while this thing is dry All right, that surround is really dry. Probably not even worth uh, trying to save, but uh, let me go ahead and cut around the uh, voice coil and uh, see if I can remove that section of the cone.
There's the uh, spider. Makes me wonder if the same company, uh, Sonicor, also uh, produced the uh, spiders. Try to show that. It's like your modern day spider. It's made out of uh, some type of plastic or rubbery type material. Looks like it's broke loose down on this side. That may have been some of my rattle as well. Yeah. See if I can get the uh, angle where you guys can see that. I'm not sure if I've got enough material there to adhere back or not. I may give it a try and see if I can get the uh, gasket off here. Well, I got part of it. break this thing completely down, put a new uh, surround on, reuse the cardboard gasket, clean out the uh, air gap. I think I've got four fasteners here. I can remove the uh, fill coil, which would be an advantage as well. Clean up this lead with some uh, shrink tubing. Got the leads unsoldered back over to the uh, terminal strips, one of them actually being loose. Since this spider is broken, I'm going to try to uh, replace it with a uh, modern day spider. I'm going to just go ahead and cut around the uh, edge. You can see there where it's already broke loose. Anyone out there have any history on the spiders from this company? Be curious to uh, know if someone else has run across one of the, uh, like a plastic uh, spider. Alright, cool. There's our uh, spider, what's left of it, and the uh, voice coil. Center pole piece was more of the uh, common uh, three fourths of an inch. You guys can probably see how flexible the uh, spider material is. And of course, my modern day spider is more rigid. This one's made for a one inch voice coil. And of course, the diameter was um, larger. I just cut it back to make it fit on the uh, ring but the problem is it's just extremely uh, rigid I'm not sure we're going to see the same uh, movement of the voice coil up and down but just uh, brainstorming or thinking out loud 